Hi everyone, it's Cassie, the Young Teen Librarian at East Hampton Library. Today, for our virtual make and take craft, I'm going to show you how to make string art paintings. So for that, what you will need, we will be using liquid watercolor paint and liquid acrylic paint for our project today. So for, with that, you, we will have, you will need construction paper. So we will be using, having black construction paper. We will be using this with the acrylic paint. And then white construction paper will be used with the liquid watercolor paint. And for both projects, you will need, it could be string, it could be yarn, um, any type. Make sure it's not like, a, if you're going to use yarn, make sure it's not like a super fluffy type yarn, because that will just, it, it'll just, it, it wouldn't work. Um, you're going to have a paper plate, a paper plate, and a popsicle stick. This will be used with the acrylic paint. And then we have three little, little cups here. These will be used with the liquid watercolor paint. And then of course, last but not least, scissors for our string. So as a good rule of thumb, if you lay out your piece of paper, construction paper is usually about, is usually the size of printer paper, eight and a half by 11. So what we are going to do is we are going to take our yarn and we are going to measure it out to about a little bit past this. So I'll say, somewhere around 30 inches. So we have this long bit of string. And then we're just going to do that again with the other piece so that we have two strings. And we'll set that aside. So with your construction paper, so with the papers, what you're going to be doing is you're going to make sure that you fold it in half. And then we're going to do that with our white construction paper. Because what we will be doing for each of these, it's a very simple craft. All you will be doing is dipping the yarn into the, into the paints. So with the liquid watercolor paints, because they're liquidy, we have to put a little bit of each into these little, um, into these little cups and then dip the yarn in there and get it soaked and saturated in the color and then you kind of and then once the yarn is completely covered in the color or the string depending on what you have you kind of just do this where you kind of like move it around so it's on the paper position it how you want it on the paper then you take the other side of the paper fold it over and that and that's and we are have a tissue box for that purpose to kind of because we're going to kind of gently apply a little bit of pressure and then you pull the string out being careful not to get paint on yourself so hopefully i do not get paint on myself because i would be very sad about that so first i think we're going to try the acrylic paint because that one's a bit more involved. So with this, what we are going to be doing, we are going to take each of our colors and we're going to make a line of them in kind of like an arc. We're going to make an arc on the paper with the colors. So. All right. Those up so they don't spill anywhere, and then all we have to do is just take our um, our yarn and we kind of position it along this line. So we're going to kind of use our popsicle stick to make sure it sits in the color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another little 
line in the middle of this. <laughs> Trying our best to keep separate colors. And then what we're going to do, kind of transition paint over, because we want to completely saturate the yarn or string, depending on what you have on hand, completely cover it. going to set that aside and we are going to start with our other color. So we have our red. With this we have red, orange, and yellow. All right and then we're going to take our yarn The other side of the popsicle sticks. So I'm going to kind of saturate our yarn in the color. Make sure it is fully saturated. All right. Set that aside, and we're going to work on that one second. So, with this one, pretty much all we have to do is we take our string, it's a little bit messy, and we're just going to kind of position it. On to our paper. All right, and we're just going to gently press down. Ooh, we got a little paper paint there. Um, we're going to take our tissue box and we are going to pull out our string. Oh, got kind of a little bit on myself. Hopefully, that is all right. Lift it up, we should have. It's not the best, but that is pretty cool. Like, it's supposed to sneak. So, it's one of those things where you, every time you make it, it's going to look different. So, we're going to set that aside to dry. And, good thing I have these tissues. Thankfully, with a, usually with, um, Mm, of acrylic paint, it can be washable. All right, so our next one, we're gonna wipe off our hands as best we can so we don't get this paint on there. All right, so now we're going to take our watercolor paint colors Go. I'm gonna press down. All right. And look at that. That is our other one. That is a pretty cool design. If I don't say so myself. And then it let it dry. Also, this might even work better with like a stiffer type of paper, like watercolor paper, too, because I found with the water, with the, with this one, because it was so liquidy, it kind of bled through really quickly. So, but that 
as you can see we have like a ton of mess here kind of that's not even a cool look itself but that is string art painting it's pretty simple it'll always look different no every time you dry it and I hope that you all enjoyed it and maybe inspired you to make your own string art painting so have a good day everyone bye